Hello. Today we're going to take a look at affinity groups and anti-affinity groups for HVM clusters within HPE Morpheus VM Essentials software. HPE Morpheus VM Essentials supports affinity groups for both VMs running on HVM clusters as well as for VMs that are running on VMware vCenter cloud integrations, but for today's demonstration we're going to take a look at them within an HVM cluster. The process for creating them within either HVM clusters or within a VMware vCenter cloud integration are very similar. So let's take a look at the example scenario. For this example, I have three web servers and I have my traffic load balanced across all three of these servers. Now, in order to add an additional layer of redundancy in the case of a loss of a host, I would like to ensure that these three web servers are running on different hosts. And as we can see, I have all three of them currently running on the same host. So what we need is an anti-affinity group to ensure that each of these three web servers is going to be running on a distinct host. For a second example, using an affinity group, I have a multi-tier application. So here I have a web server, I have my database, and I have my application server. And I want to ensure that these are all three running on the same host in order to maximize performance of my application. So in this particular case, I'm going to need an affinity group to ensure that those three workloads continue to run on the same host. And as we can see, we have the opposite situation here with the three workloads running on distinct hosts. So what I need to do is create one affinity, one affinity group and one anti-affinity group. So let's take a look at how that's done. If we go to the resources tab within the cluster detail page, currently the only sub tab is for affinity groups and you can see that we have no affinity groups currently defined. So I'm gonna create two new rules here. I'm gonna click add. First, I'm gonna give a name. This will be for my anti-affinity group. And then we have to choose a type. I'll choose the type keep separate because I want this to be an anti-affinity group and the default selection is active here but if this is unchecked then the rule will simply be ignored and the HVM cluster will load balance as it always does based on resource allocation. So if I click this drop down this can also be used as a type ahead but since I don't have a whole lot of VMs running on this cluster I'll just use it as a drop down. And so I want my three web servers to be running on different hosts, so I'm gonna select those for this rule. And then I'm gonna click Save Changes. And then I also wanna create one more rule. This is gonna be my affinity group. And this time the type is gonna be Keep Together and once again Active, and I will select the three servers that apply to this rule. With all three of those selected, I will click Save Changes. So now we're back on the VMs tab, and this is just a very short time after those two rules were created. And let's take a look at our two example scenarios. So taking a look at my web servers, we wanted to make sure that these were all running on distinct hosts. And if we take a look, we can see that web server one is running on host four, two is running on host three, and three is running on host one. So the anti-affinity group is working as we expect it to. If we take a look at our multi-tier application, our web server, our database, and our app server, we wanted all three of these to be running on the same host. And if we take a look in the host column, we can see that all three of these are now running on host three, which is going to ensure maximum performance for our multi-tier application. Thanks for taking a look at affinity and anti-affinity groups with me today within HPE Morpheus VM Essentials software. Thanks. If you want to learn more, click this link on the bottom left to take you to the HPE.com page where there's a lot more content. If you want to learn more about HPE Morpheus VM Essentials, click on the playlist on the top left. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video.